Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be finishing off the mech build which I was starting from my new mech lab at the Mushroom HQ. So um, again I've made the uh, sort of plan wider or making a sort of frame I guess with the recharger blocks. So I'm just raising it a little bit so I can put some legs on there. And yeah, after, yeah, it's too big to get out the door, so that's why I made another one in the floor later on. So, as you can see, I'm going for a sort of bipedal mech type build today, following on from the last episode where I made this lab room. Um, and yeah, those legs are too short, but I do make them longer. I think that those are just the knees, that's just where the knees are going to start. Um, and so, yeah... I think I'm messing around unnecessarily with power generation levels. It doesn't matter, just build the mech. <laughs> no, I must make sure I have the best power gen. <laughs> so yeah, just building it out now with the blocks and then I'm gonna put the wedges on in all the uh, edges. You know, the gaps that I've left. Well, that's the plan anyway. Um, so yeah, building the... Uh, sort of armor plating if you will for the arms and the chest I made it all out of white first and then put the colors on afterwards just wanted to make sure it was coming out okay it seems to be coming out all right I did have problems with scale so I think that the next one will have to be much bigger my plan was to make one small and then scale it up but it turned out that if you make them too small they just look a bit funky so um, <laughs> you can guess what I'm styling it after still looks a bit weird though it took me ages to get the head to look even make it even make it even resemble what I wanted it to um, I'm basing it off of the sort of first Gundam from the very first series um, 79 because the designs were quite simple or so I thought <laughs> um, I think in the end I just abandoned the back and just put thrusters on the back and uh, focused on making the front look good but uh, I learned quite a bit from making it because uh, it's really weird when you fly it it does look like you're in a helmet because of the, uh, the wedges that I used in the end and that's kind of cool at this stage it's looking a bit more like a GoBot I don't know if anyone's seen the GoBots <laughs> but it's looking a bit more like one of those comment if you've heard of them it's quite an obscure reference now <laughs> so continuing to pack it out and like I say, this whole video took me an hour to record, um, experimenting with different shoulder designs. See, the Gundam's got quite a typical style for the helmet and the shoulders, um, and obviously the colour scheme for the chest, and then pretty much everything else just falls into place. Um, there were easier mechs I could have built. I could have made Gun Tank, which doesn't even have legs. I could have made... Uh, one of the mobile armors, which are a lot more ship-like, but I thought, nah, if I'm going to try it, I may as well try and make a Gundam. Obviously, I wanted to do it justice, but you can't have it all on the first go. Here we are. I'm just experimenting with trying to get the eyes to glow at this point. Uh, spending a lot of time trying to get the eyes to glow, but they don't, that doesn't work. I think you need to have quite a large hollow space inside there so that it lights up because I didn't have enough hollow space it didn't really light up like I wanted it to but hey I can go back and change that so there is actually room there now where there wasn't before so uh, trying to get the sort of silhouette right it's very difficult but I'm sort of getting it there it still looks a bit too much like a panda but I'm certainly certainly close next thing was making the shoulders the shoulders are quite again it's sort of like trademarks you know if you get it if you manage to get it to look right then your mind will do the rest so I was just trying to get these to look like functioning shoulders so I used a bit of the shadow to, to, to sort of do that and diagonals I think I've nearly got away with it at this point I'm just continuously tweaking going back rechanging coming back and uh, like I say, if I scaled it up, you could do a lot more detail, but that's the trouble with prototyping. You want to make it small so it doesn't take too long, but you don't want to make it so small that you can't, you know, get it to work. 
And like I say, I don't think I had a plan to run off. I'm just sort of going from memory at this point. Like I say, my internet's been down for a while. It sucks. My main server's been down. I think the server's going to be back up before my internet comes back online because I've got different providers at home than for my server, which is pretty funny. The server's been down for a week. I've been down for, well, the server's been down for two weeks, I think, no? Nearly. I've been down for a week and a, yeah, about a week now. But StarMade is awesome. Keeps me entertained. And here we are. I think we're at a stage where I can think about build. Oh no, no, I haven't even done the uh, bottom half yet. I was getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I was just constantly going back to, and changing things. That's, that was the reason it took so long. So yeah, I've got to make the hips now. The hips on these are quite quite chunky. So I'm trying to make his mech cod piece. And then after, I think I decided that, that stuck out too much. I was like, oh no, it sticks out too far. I have to rebuild it all. <laughs> but then that is one of the joys of this game. You get to, re you have to rebuild it. Rebuild it. That's what it's all about, it's rebuild it. Yeah, it's too far forward, well, take it off. Take it off. There we go. Oh, it's still too chunky. What am I doing? See, I was going to edit stuff out, but then it wouldn't have made any sense when you're watching it play it back at fa fast, and it'd be like, bang, loads of stuff has changed, and it would be impossible to follow, so I just included the whole thing. So now we're doing the bottom half of the legs from the knees, like I say. Get some, get some feet, chunky feet. There we go. Just got to fatten those legs out, and it's done. And like I say, this is my first attempt at building a mech. I never even tried to do this in, a, in a, any other game. Like... <laughs> so... Tell me what you think. I mean, to be honest, I'm thinking of making a mech that's in a pose. As a, that can be used as a turret, and I'll park it on my base. Um, they're just little ones. Um, but the only thing I didn't like about this design was that when, you know, it, it looks at you, you know, it, you can't move. And it's just stood straight. You never see a mech flying along stood straight. So I'm trying to figure out how to build a pose into it. Yeah. Here I am marking out the new, the new dock. Finishing off the back of the legs. And then it's time to go and get the get some guns. So I fly around to the shop. <laughs> Buy me some guns. Okay, let's put them on. Put the weapons computers up in the head. So to kill this thing, you've got to kill the head. I was considering making different designs, but uh, I only bought so many, and I'd already spent so long on this at this point. I was just like, just put some guns on there and uh, finish the thing, because you've been doing this for ages. Here we go. Trying to spread out the guns I have, and then put the uh, put the rockets in. Just put some dumb fire rockets on. So it's got dumb fire rockets and AMCs. And uh, then I build a sort of mini pistol looking setup on here. So it's dual wielding. <laughs> there we go.
Brothers. My first mech. The last one doesn't count. I never finished it. It was horrible. It was a mess. Oh yeah, I forgot also to show the uh, the lab equipment, which um, I made in the last video. Got like a little fusion cutter, some storage, and a few chairs. So um, yeah, th th that, this is the mech lab. I think it's recognisable as a Gundam, but the head looks very panda-like. I'm not sure if I'm happy with the head. Um, and also the chest, I couldn't quite get the yellow right, because if you put wedges in where the grills are supposed to be, you just get big shadows and it didn't really work very well. Obviously you get in through the back, both computers are there. Um, I just use lava to light it up so you can see it really. Um, but yeah, that was great. <laughs> it's actually really fun to fly it about because when you're in space you like stood on its shoulder and stuff and it's like oh what <laughs> uh, but yeah I couldn't get the lighting right on the eyes for this one so I think my next one I'll play around with that I want to get the pose right as well I still think the legs aren't long enough I think his shins are too short but yeah that was fun so anyway thanks for watching this video uh, be sure to comment like and subscribe if you want to um, and I will see you on the next one thanks again